Hello and welcome to my channel Bit by Curiosity. In today's video we will talk about retention rate. What is retention rate and how to calculate the same in Excel? Retention rate is an organization's ability to retain employees over a period of time. There are many factors that can contribute to retention rate like organization culture perks and benefits work life balance learning and growth opportunities and many more retention rate and attrition rate are closely related but they are not quite the same thing they go hand in hand to give a holistic view about employees stability in an organization in my previous video i have covered attrition rate and how to calculate the same so if you have not watched that video i strongly recommend you to do so towards the end of video i will also describe how attrition rate and retention rate are different so do watch the entire video now let's look at the formula for retention rate number of employees who stayed for the specified time period in an organization divided by number of employees at the beginning of the specified time period multiplied by 100 so here we are calculating for a period from 1st april 2020 till 20th feb 2021 Let's calculate step by step. The first parameter that we will calculate is the denominator which is much simpler. Number of employees at the beginning of specified period. If you have watched my previous videos, you know how to use count formula. equals to count. Let's go back to April 2020 headcount sheet. and take the count of any column i will take column b which is employee code let's count number of employees at the end of specified period using the same formula equals to count go to feb 2021 head count sheet and select column b now the third parameter which is employees who joined during the specified period I have this data sheet which includes all the new joiners. So all the employees who joined between first April twenty twenty to twentieth Feb twenty twenty one. Let's enter count formula again. Now, number of employees who stayed for a specified period would be employees at the end of the specified period. Minus new joiners, which is eighty three in our case. Now, if you are comfortable using count if formula, you can directly calculate this parameter. Equals to count if. Let me go back to Feb twenty twenty one head count sheet, and select the date of joining column. Comma. Let's put the criteria. We want Excel to count all employees in this sheet except new joiners. That is, employees joined after first April twenty twenty. And we have got eighty three. To calculate retention rate, number of employees who stayed for a specified period divided by number of employees at the beginning of specified period. and we get our retention rate which is 85%. Now, did you notice how new joiners are excluded in this formula? Let's say we had 5 new joiners who joined and left within the specified time period. They would be counted when calculating the attrition percentage. That is the attrition percentage will go up. However, in this formula they will be completely excluded and there is no change with regards to the number of new joiners whether there were 5 or 10 it would not impact the retention rate at all however 
this would definitely impact the attrition percentage. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video and found it helpful. Your support encourages me to create more content like this. So if you have liked my video, do click on the like button and subscribe my channel. Also, show some love by sharing it with other HR colleagues. Stay safe, keep learning and bye-bye for now.